Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Inigo Iriarte and after this small break of the summer we're going to continue with the lower lobe nerves and with the sciatic nerve and its uh, continuation at the popliteal fossa and its division into its two branches, the common peroneal nerve and the tibial nerve. And this video will we will talk about the common peroneal nerve, okay, or common fibular nerve. So a small remi reminder, the sciatic nerve divides at this level into this, its uh, terminal branches, the tibial nerve, more medial and bigger one, and the common peroneal nerve, more lateral. Okay, so it will play as a pro at the popliteal fossa, just proximal. We will find the sciatic nerve as a unique nerve uh, lo uh, located just underneath the long head of the biceps this is the short head of the biceps and at this uh, level just in the underneath this muscle we will find the sciatic nerve if we continue distal we will notice how this uh, sciatic nerve uh, becomes superficial and divides and divides into its branches the tibial nerve is, uh, bigger and medial and the common peroneal nerve more uh, s uh, smaller and lateral okay more lateral always related with the biceps femoris this is a small amount of muscle of the long head of the biceps and this is the short head of the biceps femoris as we go distal then we will notice how the common peroneal nerve becomes superficial and is very very close to the skin just distal as we are going to notice in the following video okay so let's take a good look at the video how the sciatic nerve divides into its branches so this is the biceps femoris and this is the sciatic nerve just underneath the uh, long head of the biceps and as we go distal the sciatic nerve becomes superficial and it divides here into its branches the tibial nerve medial and bigger one and the common peroneal nerve smaller and lateral Take a look at how the common peroneal nerve becomes very, very superficial, okay? Because it's, uh, it will seek the fibula here, okay? Take a look here. And we are going to uh, follow this nerve and see what it happens in the following, uh, following its path, okay? So the common peroneal nerve, smaller than tibial nerve, lateral, always related with the biceps femoris and take a look how it becomes very lateral and superficial being uh, under the skin so at this level just reaching the head of the fibula it becomes very very weak very easy to uh, damage okay so when you have a patient with uh, some symptoms of the affection of this nerve always take a look at this area okay follow the common peroneal nerve and take a look uh, just reaching the fibula and the head of the fibula because at this level there is skin a small amount of fat tissue and connective tissue surrounding the nerve and the bone as the floor so it's very easy to to, to damage okay with uh, casts with uh, compressions with um, traumas or even with uh, cysts or ganglia uh, with an origin in the proximal uh, fibula uh, tibial fibular uh, joint so it's a very very common of area of injuries here so very important to take an accurate look at this area once the nerve is here it continues below underneath the peroneus longus muscle so it will go into the uh, peroneal tunnel okay which is up, um, below here below the peroneus longus muscle and above the neck of the fibula and at this level it divides into its branches the deep peroneal nerve here or deep fibular nerve, nerve which goes deep and we will search the interosseous membrane here as we are going to check just later and the other branch will be the superficial peroneal nerve or superficial fibular nerve which will continue underneath the peroneus longus and will become superficial as its name indicates okay so first of all we are going to follow the deep peroneal branch of deep peroneal nerve it continues deepening okay till it reaches the anterosseous membrane here 
so it's below the muscles of the anterolateral compartment of the lower leg. So it will be located between the anterior tibialis ten, uh, muscle and the extensoralis longus muscle, very, very close to the interosseous membrane and very, very close together with the anterior tibialis artery at this level. And it will accompany the anterior tibialis artery all, all the long of the lower leg in a very, very close stuck to the enterosis membrane, okay, till it reaches the ankle. And at the ankle, it will be located between the extensor digitorum longus and the extensor allutis longus muscles, more tendons, at this level will be tendons. And this is very important because uh, if we want to perform some ultrasound gui gui guided procedures uh, at the joint, at the ankle joint, like uh, intraarticular injections, we must uh, avoid this location, this um, this uh, location here between these two tendons, and we m we must go more medial because we need always to check the neuro neurovascular bundle, and it will be located here. So we must go between the anterior tibialis tendon and the extensor allutis longus in order to achieve a safe procedure, okay? This is a crossing, we will find a crossing, uh, uh, the deep peroneal nerve crosses the anterior tibialis artery just at this level. It's very curious, it's not so important uh, in terms of diagnosis or prognosis, but it's very curious to see at this level. Okay, it will, be, uh, it will give a sensory innervation of the first wave space. The innervation, the sensory innervation of the foot is quite complex, at, but uh, uh, rem remember that the deep peroneal nerve will uh, be responsible of the sensory innervation of the first wave space. And it also will give motoric, uh, motoric innervation to the muscles of the anterior lateral compartment, the anterior tibialis, the extensor allutis longus, extensor digitorum longus, and the pedius muscle. The pedius muscle is composed of the extensor digitorum brevis and extensor allutis brevis muscles. Okay, So all these muscles will be innervated by the deep peroneal nerve. And how it um, behaves in the video. Okay, we are starting at the fibula, at the neck of the fibula, just here. Okay, so this will be the beginning of the peroneal longus muscle. This is the, the neck of the fibula, and this will be the common peroneal nerve. Just, we are just here, at this level here. Okay, so if we follow the nerve here, this level, we can see, sorry, we can see, it's, it's difficult to see because here you see this small hypochoic round shape uh, nerves here. So this will be the superficial, deep, and uh, the superficial branch of the peroneal nerve, and this will be the deep peroneal nerve. So it's difficult to see because these two nerves, uh, and deep especially, goes away from the probe. So it's very difficult to see. But we are going to notice how this nerve will search the anterior tibialis artery. Here you can see the artery and how the nerve goes just close to the anterior tibialis artery, very, very close to the interosseous membrane here. Here you can see the nerve here. Sorry, just a little just a moment. Here, okay, and we can follow distally, but we will lose the nerve because it's very difficult to see because of its depth. And if we locate the artery with Doppler, we know that the nerve is very, very close. And once we are distal, you can see here the crossing. Here, this is the deep, deep peroneal nerve here, and the crossing just above the anterior tibialis artery of the nerve. Okay, very curious to see, not so important. And this is more important that the neurovascular, band, uh, neurovascular bundle is between the extensor allutis longus and the extensor digitorum longus. So don't use this 
location to performing uh, procedures always go medial okay but with ultrasound we can check always if we are at the good place or not okay here this is a high frequency probe you can see better the nerve and the crossing above the anterior tibialis artery again and again Be curious to see eh? not so important okay <clears throat> and finally the second branch the superficial fibular or peroneal nerve okay as we have talked and told you the this branch is underneath the peroneus longus muscle okay and continues uh, distally um, going distal to the lower leg and it um, performs it um, goes through the uh, crural fascia here the deep crural fascia here just anterior to the peroneal longus muscle and becomes superficial so at this level between the anterolateral compartment and the lateral compartment at this level this is the, the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis muscles you can notice how the nerve becomes superficial and goes really 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 under the skin very very superficial it gives two branches the medial and uh, the medial one and the intermedial dorsal cutaneous nerve so the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve and the intermedial dorsal cutaneous nerve and it will be responsible of the sensory innervation of the dorsum of the foot okay so this will be the deep peroneal nerve this will be the superficial peroneal nerve and laterally this will be the sural nerve okay and sorry and the uh, motor innervation of this nerve uh, they, they innervates the peroneus muscles so the peroneal longus and peroneal brevis muscle are innervated by this superficial peroneal nerve and finally the video we will start a little bit proximal at the sciatic nerve here so this is sorry this is the biceps femoris with its long head and short head and here this is the common peroneal nerve so this is the tibial nerve common peroneal nerve sciatic nerve at this level so it's just the division into its two branches the sciatic nerve dividing as you can notice here in peroneal nerve and tibial nerve medial lateral at this level we follow the peroneal nerve below the short head of the biceps we will go to the fibula look how superficial is the nerve here between the bone and the skin and only this small amount of fatty tissue here so very important to check the nerve here and the peroneal tunnel is just the um, the um, the entrance of the peroneal tunnel of the nerve here uh, below underneath the peroneus longus muscle and above the head of the fibula so this is now the common peroneal nerve we are still at the common peroneal nerve if we follow the common peroneal nerve here you can see some it's difficult to see we can use the the, the movements of the probe something is coming here okay and something is here so take another look we will, we will take a look at the deep peroneal nerve here okay here and we will take a look at the superficial peroneal nerve something is going here it's very here it's very difficult to see because of the movement because of the uh, orientation of the of the nerve and its size also but you see something is moving here sorry something is moving here you can see something is moving here it's not uh, I think this mark is not good I think the nerve is here and if we go distal we will notice something moving here 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 and here it is this is the superficial peroneal branch 
the superficial peroneal nerve or superficial fibular nerve here. Again, proximal and again distal, something is moving here and here it is, the superficial fibular nerve. And this nerve will be superficial to the extensor digitorum. Here this is the extensor digitorum muscle and this is the nerve superficial at this level. If we have a good uh, ultrasound machine with high resolution probes, here we are at the at the ankle at the level of the ankle, sorry. Sometimes we can follow all the path of the nerve until its last branches. Okay. Here we are at the ankle and here. this is the nerve. Okay. Again, last last time here, superficial nerve, peroneal nerve above the extensor digitorum and reaching the ankle at this level, okay? Okay, and that was all I wanted to tell you about the common peroneal nerve and its two branches, the deep peroneal nerve and the superficial peroneal nerve. Uh, now you can check when you have a patient with symptoms all the path of, of, the, of these nerves, all the, all the um, possible locations of injuries and I hope it will be useful to your daily practice because you will be surprised and sometimes you will find a pathology at this level. Very, very interesting. Okay. So I hope you like the video and if you like the video, just check the like and leave comments if you have any doubts and we'll be in touch in future videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye.